Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show that covers everything popping in the industry about your favorite celebrities and also covers the biggest stories in the world of entertainment and lifestyle. My name is Ife Omai and today I am surrounded by tantalizing, articulate and somewhat troublesome men to do the talking analysis of the hot topics today with me and that's Ife Olua Oshike and Miles. What up? Hello, Hi. Okay. I post to you yeah, of this. Yes. I want to you. What's going on, man? Hi. Right. Welcome, to, welcome the to the table. Good, by the Thank way. you. Thank who, you. Who, who, who did that? Oh, uh, ha um, our makeup artist, Happiness. Happiness, you like... please. Come and make my face happy. Oh, yeah, yeah now. I'm happy. I'm happy. You. I'm sure. It's your face. You want Happiness to make happy, though. Hey, guys. Yeah, guys. Mm. But real quick, man, in Here's case, you know, a lot of people don't know you on the stage, yeah. so we, we, we're giving you um, 40 seconds to read. seconds. Quickly tell us about yourself. All right, my name is Miles. Uh, some people call me the eighth wonder of the world. Um, okay. I'm so much trouble. I talk for a living. I'm a broadcaster and, yeah, everything fun. Miles. All right. Not less than 20 seconds. That should be more. Please leave him alone now. It's okay. It's okay. They will find out the rest. That's about it. That's about it. I mean, I feel like we've more time. Eight wonders of the world. Mystery. Yeah, please. Can we talk about that? Where is that from? We have seven wonders of the world. You're the eighth. The eighth. All right. What makes you a wonder? You'll find if out. Oluwa, he's not a guest for today. You'll find out. It's not, no, it's, no, he's, a, he's no, a it's, part it's, of the It's the viewer's guest, so <laughs> let, let, let him get to know him. I think I know him a little bit already. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to do this with you. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Analyze the topics. It's I was sweet. born ready. All right. It's so with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so okay. the first story for today is about the Nollywood actor Mike Ezunruye, who criticized the apology message to popular film producer and fellow actor Kunle Afolayo. As you know, as we all recall, they had a back and forth, and Mike mm -hmm. recently dragged Kunle for sharing screenshots of a DM he got in which Mike was labeled a scammer. Kunle had penned down a whole epistle to Mike on Instagram feed to what looked like, you know, he had an intention of explaining his side. However, Mike feels like, and I quote, a sincere apology is not an epistle with very underlined pride. So that is like the update on that story. What do you guys think yeah, about I'll, that? I want Miles to go first. Um, okay, cool. I, I think I'm on Mike's side uh, on this one. Mm. But both of them, they're, they're both going through a lot, by the way. But, um, <laughs> like, if you want to I apologize, you to them, lot, you they know. have problems, I beg. Just, <laughs> just, put your, put, just, just put your egos on the table and just like, yeah. guy, have fun. I'm, no vex that thing I do. Yeah. I move on. Yeah. Right? You, but if you want to apologize to someone, I don't think all that long story mm. is necessary. Guy, I used to, ah, no vex. I should have mm. just called you or something. Yeah. I am sorry. Yeah. Moving on, what do we do? Not then this and that and all that story. So yeah. I'm, I'm with Mike on this one. Kunle, come on. Just say sorry. Yeah. And let's move on. Yeah, I, I understand. A lot of people have different ways of sh expressing their um, deepest remorse, mm -hmm. right? So you really can't tell a person how you're supposed to express your remorse. And that if you really want to be factual, right? Kunle did Mike wrong by that post in the first yeah. place. So I think Why did a, you have to post it on Instagram? Yeah, so I think this whole thing is a one-on-one -on -one conversation because you're already um. messed up coming on social media. So the next place you should have taken it to is my face. Don't bring it back on social media. That's mm. the first place Kunle messed up. Mm. So if you really want to bring this up again, do it to my face like mm. a man that you are. Mm. You understand? I'm not saying Kunle is not a man, but at the end of the day, I well, feel like... Well, I mean, like he did try a... to do that. Remember, now you're jumping one part where he uh, Kunle went to his DM to try to explain the situation. That's a DM. I'm talking about face-to-face. -face. Now, this is a colleague. He they might be a junior colleague. Just they, have someone, each other, yeah. they have each other's managers. I don't think they're you know? friends, though. I don't they're think not they have... Friends. That's why like I said, a... Mike, in comparison to... Kunle Afolaya is a junior colleague. Uh, no, no disrespect, no shade to anybody. That's just mm. fact, fact only. You get me? So if you actually want to apologize to a mic, I think it's even you dragging yourself through the mud by saying, okay, this guy has already dragged you. He's, okay. He has obviously expressed himself to you how he felt mm. about what you did. Mm. So I think as a bigger man, what you should do is come to my face and be like, yo, bro, come here, little man. You get put him, put him under your shoulder and be like, bro, boy, I'm sorry. Yeah. No disrespect to Mike, no. <laughs> No, like, I think You're that's You're making it look like I said, Mike is some upcoming artist that just came, like... No, that's that not what I'm making like, it look like. You guys don't me, get it. Excuse me, that's the problem. I, I think that's like the bro code. He is more than he is, and that he can give a rubbish, unbaked apology to Mike and get away with it. Hmm. I don't really care what you are in the position of uh, hierarchies in the industry. If you've offended somebody and you are claiming to apologize, do that right. And I disagree with you saying that you can't really tell somebody how, how to, to apologize. There is no, standard protocol 
when it comes to apologies. It's like saying apolog apologize and saying a but. It was like saying apologize and say whatever. But. Like those, there, so there, there is a there is a, a, a synopsis. Do you know what? Do you, do you know what? Decency. We don't see. And that guy was not decent in the way we don't that know. He we don't know the backstory. We don't care the about the backstory. What exactly. we know about is the apology. The fact that and we I, don't, I, I can, no, I can you, bear you with you care. that Mike and and the others and us were on the same boat too because even the person that you're giving the apology to is saying the same thing too that you're 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 right. Now when I gave when I gave. Um, the illustration of him putting him on his shoulder and be like, bro, sorry, man. I'm talking about like over a drink. It's the bro code. I've offended a lot of my guys. Do you understand? What if, I, what, if, what if I am not in that zone of being a bro code? Yes. Just guy, just get, call me or send my like, manager or something. I am sorry. Finish all that bro code and that junior colleague thing. Look, we are colleagues. For, let's forget. forget let's forget how old you are. Who, yeah. who, who, we are it's colleagues. It's not about really. age. It's about We're, achievement in the industry. No, it's not. Given to say so what belongs to say so. No, who's, you don't who's, not? Caesar? who's Caesar in this in this case? In this case? Queenie, that's what he's I saying don't now. even need to answer that. I'll let the viewers do that. But we see, so Caesar should also behave like somebody who <laughs> has who uh, earned all of that because your Caesar in this case is the person that dropped the ball here. Yes. So if anyone needs to be claiming pride and achievement right. it is mike but do we believe okay. in mistakes right a lot of us we make mistakes are you not seeing that this guy's story was laced with pride which is the point of this conversation do you not think that the apology that Queenie wrote on instagram quote unquote well was, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see pride in it i just okay. felt that it could have been done privately he could have said those same exact words to his face and it would have been now, accepted now we're saying the same thing but that lengthy thing was not necessary it's just yeah it, i could have called you and still said that lengthy thing exactly, to your exactly, face exactly do you understand just to your face that's the difference but anyways, I, I hope they both just come together like, you know, oh yeah, bros, no vex. Mm. Can we just move on with life already? Yeah. Instead of dragging, dragging. I, 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 on the larger scale of things, it's not that big of a deal. Exactly. But I, I see another post coming up pretty soon. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right, so let's move to another segment. Something more light. That doesn't have anything to do with something drama. Light. Give me something light. Yeah. Mm. Um, so we have a new segment called Movie Review. Mm, and okay. behind the scenes, of course. No, you guys are not there. We had already chosen what we felt like was our... You yeah, know, yeah. best foot forward, yes. And the first movie review we have is Lara and the Beat. Yep. And it is a Nigerian drama film directed by Tosin Koka, starring Shei Shei, Vector, um, Wale Ojo, Sharon Oja, Shafi Bello, and Uchi Jumbo. To name a few, Lara and the Beat is a coming-of-age story about a beautiful Giwa sisters who are caught in the center of a financial scandal with their late parents' media empire. The sisters are forced out of their privileged bubble and must learn to build their own future and salvage their family's legacy through music and enterprise. Yep, I've seen this movie, yeah, and I'm, I'm privileged to say um, it's, a, it's um, a family friend who directed and um, produced this film, that's Tosin Koka, by the way, so big shout out to Tosin mm. Koka. And, um, you know, we, we saw Vector in this movie, mm. we saw uh, Shei Shei in this uh, movie. And, a lot of people. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah uh, Sharon Oja and the likes. DJ Exclusive. So, yeah, yes. DJ Exclusive. So it was, it, it was like star-studded and stuff, mm. so I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. But since we're going to to do a critical review in as much as it's a family friend i'm not going right. to be biased on the state but i'm just going to say it how it is um there were some scenes that i felt like um vector and um shei shei could have done better but mm. knowing that it's their first time i think they did mm. well if i'm to um rate them on the scale of one to hundred mm -hmm. i'll probably be giving them like a 70 percent which for is very acting. good yeah for acting. okay yeah for acting um but um in terms of the storyline in terms of the production in terms of the directing in terms of the um videography the picture quality and all of that definitely big shout out to Tosi Koka that was amazing and everybody that was on that project so I think yeah it deserves to be on Netflix and mm. I think it's 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 a it's a it's a movie to see by almost everyone yes I, I've good. decided personally that I'll stop comparing my Nigeria movies with um, movies outside if not I'll, have ne I'll never have anything positive mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. so um, to scale it down to just Nigeria as a whole I think it was a good movie in that light um, I feel like as of late they've been able to master the art of um, cinematography yeah. and you know angles and stuff it seems like directing is beginning to get yeah. on lockdown but I'm not really seeing that much improvement with the storyline and how it's ex executed um, I think actors are too busy acting too much like than mm actually trying to like be the role that they have been yeah. assigned to, if that makes sense. So I saw a lot of that in this movie, but it wasn't so bad. I mean, I've watched movies that it, it hurt me to finish. Like, oh, you know, I'm paying that I have to sit down and finish this thing. Sometimes I can't even finish it. I don't think I would put that, you know, this movie in 
that, um, category. In, in, that category. in that category. So I feel like they're doing something right. Obviously, there is a lot of space for improvement. Um, there's some people there that I've seen in so many movies, and I just feel like their acting has been the same. Even this lead star, I feel like her acting has been the same throughout. It's not really giving me anything else. I don't know mm. how, how to explain. Like it's, I don't know. It's like she's stereotyped. Yeah, very yeah. stereotypical, and I'm not really seeing that much. So it'd be nice to start seeing these actors. I, and I, I think they are really brilliant. I think they sh uh, it would be nice to see them in other types of um, scenes, doing a lot more, getting out of the comfort zone. That would be nice. But for me, Lara and the Beat didn't do too well on, on the local scene, the Nigerian scene, because mm. a lot of people didn't want to see it. It wasn't exactly what Nigerians were expecting, what they wanted to see. Mm. They, we're used to the whole comedy, make me laugh, mm. say something, do something stupid, a mm. gate man making noise somewhere, mm. and all that. Mm. But this doesn't, this doesn't happen for Lara so a lot of people didn't really see it. It didn't really get too many awards and nominations here on the home front. But uh, outside the shows in Nigeria, a lot of people gave it so many awards. It won awards, tons and tons and tons. But it's okay. And I think it's, a, it's the first Nigerian movie that's going to have its own album. Yeah. So that was like 12 to 15 tracks. Yeah. Amazing yeah. stuff. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then the, the, the yeah, big shout out. I, I love the fact that you brought up the soundtrack. We have people yeah. like Ajay Bota, You know, we have people mm. like Files the Bad Guy that were, you know, DJ exclusive doing this thing. The soundtrack was amazing. Like the songs, you know, the moment I was, I was watching the movie, I was literally picking up my phone and like, who's that? Who's that's that? Ajay Bota. I just typed the name and I'm searching for it on Apple yeah. Music. Music or yeah. whatever, and I'm getting it downloaded immediately. So the soundtrack was on point. The video quality, like you said, the directors are putting in a lot of work right now. Yes, the actors can do better, especially the new ones, mm. the ones who just featured in mm. in their first debut movies and stuff. Yeah. But of course, you know, you can't take the lights of which Jumbo, you know, oh, Shafi Bello, Shafi Bello. Shafi Bello. Shafi Bello. Shafi Bello. Even Gabriel, um, Gabriel what, what Fanayo, I put uh, my, my hat out to him. Yeah. But please, um, do stay tuned for the second uh, review. We still have more intact. Safety. We'll be back, guys.